Yo, hello everyone and welcome back again to a brand new video. Developers and designers, in this tutorial, we will explore the integration of Figma with GitHub in 2023. Figma's collaborative design features combined with GitHub's version control system offer an efficient way to manage design interactions. Join me as I walk you through the steps to connect Figma with GitHub. So guys, let's get started. Before we start with this video, make sure to watch it from now till the end so you have the full information. So guys, in this specific video, you will need both a GitHub account, as you can see by going to github.com, and a Figma account. So you just have to go to figma.com and you will be able to run it. To manage to connect Figma with GitHub, we are going to use this specific plugin. So let's take a look about it and then we are going to start to use it. So note, this plugin does not work with self-hosted GitHub instances, GitHub Enterprise Server or GHES. So the first thing to work to make it work is connect design to code with GitHub plugin for developer mode. With this plugin, we can link GitHub files, issues and pull requests to Figma components and designs. So you always have the context you need in one place. Use the plugin to link components in GitHub to components in Figma. So that when developers are implementing designs, they know whether a component already exists in the code base and which one to use. This is the first feature. The second feature is link GitHub issues to Figma designs. So developers have all, the f all of the context needed to implement a design. Third, link GitHub pull request to Figma designs so that teammates can track implementation of a design. Fourth and last is view linked GitHub files, issues and pull requests in Figma for quick previews without context switching. To learn more about this developer mode here, you can simply click here and you'll have all the details about it and how it can work uh, basically. So here we have literally all the things that can help us and we are going to go through it in this specific video. But first let's go ahead and connect it and then we will come back to here. So the first thing to make this thing work is to click on open in, select your recent files and through this file simply select one of your designs and as you can see this is the design that I have made simply now all I'm going to do is click on run and now I have to be connected into my github account so basically here give it the access so they are going to ask for some permissions uh, here as you can see profile information they will only be reading it only uh, report series the public and private and they will want the access your probably zero account which is my account so let's authorize figma to do that confirm and you are being redirected to the authorized accounts you are all set and ready to go so we may close this window and return to figma to start using to the github widget so here we go, select a single line to get started. So let's do that. Let's select this blue tri rectangle. Here we go. Now, paste a file per request or issue URL from GitHub to connect its content to this component. So let's click here. And I'm going here to one of my uh, repositories, calculator. And I'm going to go with this file. So go to file. And here I'm going to copy this one. And copy path. Go here for example. Uh, I need the like a valid. Let's copy this one. Let's try this one. Here we go. I need to re remove that. Here we go. Paste. And now we can attach it simple as that. But enter our valid GitHub resource URL. So we need a resource file, not any random file. In case you want a resource file, guys, it's pretty easy. You just have to go to one of your files that you have the resource in. Since I have it here on my Git in 
uh, get ignore uh, this is very important to keep in your profile or in your account you should have also the resource file in your account in case you had some if you had the resource file just do the same thing you will have the path here make sure to copy it or simply copy the raw file as it is and paste it here so you just by clicking here you can literally attach your github file or I can either click here on the calculator for example and copy the whole URL and paste it there and now guys let's talk about the enter developer mode so open figma design and click the arrows that are on the top so developer mode toggle at the top to the page or use keyboard shortcut shift D then you will notice that the page will turn into this one it's going to be something like that with the layout design the code and everything they will literally give you everything as code in case it was coded in github as I said the next thing is basically now we've got the design so you can literally go through your designs you can view which assets are ready for development know when a frame was last edited navigate frames and layers you can inspect designs you can compare design changes with old versions so you can literally see the history of the design itself and you can do a lot of things more than that uh, you can also add external links as you can see here and resources for developers build faster with customizable code snippets view layer names and types try component variations in the component playground view apply styles and download assets and finally you can export you can also use the develop mode extension which gonna help you a lot to stay in track with development tasks by synchronizing with Jira cross figma fix jam and developer mode you can connect your figma design system and design system with code with storybook you can link designs to code so they are always stay in synchronized when bringing github into figma so the plugins tab in developer mode shows your recently used plugin as well as recommended plugins from the figma community so it is a very very useful thing to have while designing and while coding as well so you're gonna be working as a team together you should have this uh, added so you just simply click here and you will find it as you can see here github and now simply all you need to do is to start working as a team just to whatever you want whenever thing you have in mind make sure to share it with your team so everything will be in track everything will be synchronized and now your team members as you are designers they can see your previous designs for example let's say the first thing that you did is drawing this uh, blue rectangle they are going to see it the second thing is login they are going to see rectangle with login without these two things so you can literally see every single move you've did you move you move this rectangle a little bit to the right they are going to see it as well so everything will be seen in details for them as well and yeah guys this is basically on how you can connect your figma account to github it is very easy nothing complicated about it i hope you like this video guys and see you guys in the next tutorial